Hello YouTube viewers, I'm Goose here 951 with another tutorial on how to show you allowing your antiviruses to have internet connection with your programs that aren't having that much internet access. Now what you do in this tutorial, which is only going to be for McAfee, you open up McAfee, go to your top right corner, which is navigation, click on it, and then under features, it'll say firewall, click on firewall. And then you go here where it says internet connections for programs, click on the arrow, now we'll start loading and all these programs will come up. Now it will be ordered by the date you have been you had installed them or downloaded them. Now in this case I'll just try to have Google Chrome have full internet access since it's been it's it's, it's been limited and wouldn't let me um go to these sites and requiring like full access of internet and etc. Now once you've found your um program just make sure it's down um left Left, go on the left side of the program name and click on the arrow so you can make sure that it's on the right path. Now you'll have uh, three categories. One will be the name of the program. Second will be how much access it has through the internet, and the third one will be your net your, your net guard, something like that. Now um, the one we're looking for mainly is for it says here outgoing. It should be um, it has three options. It should be, it should be uh, full, outgoing, or none. Now, once we, uh, you have your click the highlighted the program you want, go to Edit, which says Access. You have the three options. Make sure it says Full. Or in other cases, um, you may want not you may have had a hacked program and don't want it to have um, internet connections. That's where you go to Block. Or in other cases, like Skype, which has been having a lot of issues, just make sure it's full. You rarely want an instance where it says outgoing, but normally you want it half full. Now NetGuard should be on, it's the default, I have not played around with it, and we should just leave it, let it be on. Now click on save. Now if you don't see your program on here, you should just hit add and then browse for the program. Look for the exe file through your, um, through your C drive program files. And and if you see a program that you've been seeing and it says that it's not been installed or has been recently uninstalled and it's just bothering you for, from being there, right now I can't find any that um that I should delete by now. Hmm. Still sound right any. Oh well. Um. So in that case, um, we'll just leave it leave it be. After that, hit X, exit it out, exit it out from there. Now your program should be working fine and should have full access. Uh, thank you very much for watching my tutorial. Uh, please leave a uh, comment or uh, questions concerning uh, this tutorial.